Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Mango Sun here talking to you about the Vesper of Radius Chest Armor. Now it's got a little bit of a glow up. So Planetary Torment, Rifts periodically release arc shockwaves, final blows with these shockwaves create an arc explosion. The explosion's been toned down, but while an arc subclass is equipped to shockwaves and subsequent shockwaves deal a blinding damage. Now, as that rift persists, the next five seconds every five seconds it will create more of a shockwave and while the arc subclass is equipped it will blind for the next 15 seconds this build is going to be on the screen go ahead and take a look at it before i get into talking about the vesper of radius like thank you guys for coming around here and watching the channel now let's get into it so the vesper of radius now it is not a pvp type of exotic you can try to use it in pvp uh, trust me i tried and it was not the game changer um i would have went with something more like sanguine alchemy i know that's a little blasphemous to hear but sanguine alchemy did get a little bit of a glow up too and it plays more of into a more neutral game exotic which is a, a bit of a a good enhancement to the sanguine so with that, your playstyle is going to change a little bit with the Vesper of Radius. You're going to want to get into more fights rather than hanging back like the typical Warlock does. Now, the Centrifuge is an all-around good exotic to bring into the game. It is the successor to the Zealot Supercell, right? I think that's what it was called back in D1, where the arc damage for the gun ended up chaining lightning damage. It does quite a bit, and it does even more once you have the exotic catalyst which i have not done yet because it takes forever to get done now you're going to want to get into those gunfights you're going to want to plant your riff and if you get pushed out of it it's okay because we're not using an empowering riff we're not taking an increase of that damage you want to pair this with good guns and good gameplay and an over around good build because again you're popping your riff to do a thing in order for it to do another thing right you want it to synergize with your build overall and you're mainly going to want to put this like in a in your back pocket it changed into an exotic to where it's more like get out my face and less uh i'm going to get in your face and use my riff and annihilate you because that's what it used to do and it was good so they say it was a bug but i mean they could have left it that way you know some bugs are good now as we get into the overall build we're going to start with Spark of Recharge. While critically wounded, your melee grenade energy recharges more quickly. Spark of Resistance. While surrounded by combatants, you are you gain damage resistance. Spark of Amplitude. Rapidly defeating targets while you're amplified creates orbs of power. And Spark of Shock. Your arch grenade jolt targets. We need all this in our kit in order for the Warlock to feel at its best while using a lackluster exotic, but a fun exotic nonetheless while utilizing the font of wisdom dynamo and arc siphon we're going to get our super back very quickly our firepower is going to generate those orbs of power for us we're going to be using the focusing strike and the bolstering detonation in order to get our class ability back and then we're going to be using energy reinforcements now pairing this with good weapons is key to a build so the palactic spiral is an awesome pulse rifle the trinity ghoul is a great combat bow it does the chain lightning damage and all the art stuff you have going on here is going to really amplify that trinity ghoul cold heart creates traces and now traces are key in the overall build because when you collect the trace you become jolted or you become amplified right now all in all is this going to be as fun as strand probably not is it going to be explosive as the solar probably not is it going to be as fun as stasis all in all the, the game is as fun as you make it and going in here with the vesper radius i did have a lot of fun i've always liked the vesper radius i like the ornaments that came out with it and I, I like utilizing it and giving my riff something to do besides just being there as a empowering or a healing riff right so if you guys did enjoy the video if you guys did enjoy the little build breakdown go ahead hit that like button hit that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one